is Dr. Luke. Welcome to Fox 5 News Daily News every day. We have a very special guest today here. Give it up to Dr. Anthony. Hello there. I'm Dr. Nguyen and I have a PhD in gymnosperm reproduction. Dr. Anthony, I heard that you are a gymnosperm, a gymnosperm specialist. Can you please tell us what a gymnosperm is? A gymnosperm is a plant that has seeds which are not protected by an ovary or fruits. They include conifers, cy cycads, and ginkgos. Thank you very much. Can you please tell us about fertilization to Dr. Anthony? Well, fertilization happens after the pollen grains are carried by the wind or insects to the female reproductive organs or the female cones. I see, I see. Well, how about the ovary? What is it made up of? Let's see, the oval of a genosperm are compromised of the female gametophyte, the layers of Let's keep the question rolling. Dr. Anthony, can you explain the process of gymnosperm reproduction? The gymnosperms have male and female cones. The male cones contain pollens, which are released into the air and will drift to other trees in the forest. The pollen will then land on the female cones, and the pollen will grow tiny tubes into the ovary to find the chromosomes and join them. The female cone will then grow to the cone that you see normally outside in the park or in the forest in your deep hikes with your friends. Since you are a gymnosperm specialist, what is the difference between gymno gymnosperm specialist and angiosperm reproduction? The difference between angiosperm and gymnosperm varies. Both plants have reproductive organs. The angiosperm's female reproductive structure is the pistil. The gymnosperm's reproductive structure is the cone. Gymnosperms have two types of cones, the male cones, which are pollen cones, and the female cones, which are seed cones. Angiosperms, on the other hand, have two types of gametes, a male and a female. The male gametophyte consists of two or three cells contained within a pollen grain, and the female gametophyte consists of eight cells within an oval. Thank you, folks. No. And that's it for Fox 5 News today, folks. Thank you for watching, and turn back on later on for more of Dr. Anthony.